Dr. Block. I am Dr. Mary Ann Block, an osteopathic physician from Texas. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the osteopathic profession, let me tell you a little bit about us. We are fully licensed physicians with the ability to write prescriptions, perform surgery, and be residency trained in all of the same specialties as MDs. The difference between MDs and DOs is twofold. One, as a DO, I had 150 more hours in medical school than MDs. Osteopathic physicians tend to be more holistic in their approach because of a philosophy that teaches us that the body and mind should be viewed as a unit. Because of my medical training, my goal as a physician is to look for and treat the underlying cause of a patient's problem, rather than just covering the symptoms with drugs. I have seen and treated thousands of children from all over the United States who had previously been labeled ADHD and treated with amphetamine drugs. By taking a thorough history and giving these children a complete physical exam, as well as doing lab tests and allergy testing, I have consistently found that these children do not have ADHD, but instead have allergies, dietary problems, nutritional deficiencies, thyroid problems, and learning difficulties that are causing their symptoms. All of these medical and educational problems can be treated, allowing the child to be successful in school and in life without being drugged. The American Osteopathic Association has published my program as the osteopathic approach to treating the symptoms called ADHD. This approach is supported in the medical literature as well. The Annals of Allergy reported in 1993 that children with allergies perform less successfully in school across the board than children who do not have allergies. Yet doctors prescribe amphetamines without ever checking the child for allergies. A study in the Journal of Pediatrics in 1995 reported that children who ate sugar had an increase in adrenaline levels that caused difficulty concentrating, irritability, and anxiety. A double-blind crossover study published in Biological Psychiatry found that vitamin B6 was actually more effective than Ritalin in a group of hyperactive children. Another study found that children with magnesium deficiencies were characterized by excess fidgeting and learning difficulties. There are many more studies in the medical literature that indicate an association between nutritional deficiencies and attention and behavioral problems, yet doctors prescribe amphetamines without checking a child's diet. There is no valid test for ADHD. The diagnosis called ADHD is completely subjective. While some like to compare ADHD to diabetes, there really is no comparison. Diabetes is an insulin deficiency that can be objectively measured. Insulin is a hormone manufactured by the body and needed for life. ADHD cannot be objectively measured and amphetamines are not made by the body nor are they needed for life. The prescription drugs that are used to treat symptoms of attention and behavior come with a host of potential side effects. According to the manufacturers of the drugs, the following side effects can and do occur. Insomnia, anorexia, nervousness, seizures, headaches, heart palpitations, cardiac arrhythmias, psychosis, angina, abdominal pain, hepatic coma, anemia, depressed mood, hair loss, weight loss, tachycardia, increased blood pressure, cardiomyopathy, dizziness, and tremor, to just name a few. These drugs are classified as Schedule II controlled substances with high abuse potential. According to reports in the Journal of the American Medical Association, the drug Ritalin has been found to be very similar to and more potent than cocaine. Ritalin and, and cocaine are so similar that they are used interchangeably in scientific research. There are no long-term studies on the safety and effectiveness of these amphetamine drugs, though millions of children are treated with them for years at a time. 
when I was in school and when my children were in school, there was no need to drug millions of children. While there are children who have attention and behavioral problems, and these problems may have increased due to poor diets, an increase in sodas and candy in our schools, an increase in allergies due to changes in our environment, and an increase in learning problems. It does not mean these children have a psychiatric disorder called ADHD. It means they have medical and educational problems that can be fixed. Most of the children I've seen who have been prescribed these drugs have never had a physical exam. No doctor listened to their heart, even though many of the side effects of the drugs are heart-related. Since there is no valid test for ADHD, most doctors get the information from, for the diagnosis from the child's teacher in the form of a checklist. If the teacher wants the child to be taking these drugs, all she or he has to do is fill out the che checklist indicating that the child has many problems in the classroom. One child was diagnosed as ADHD and prescribed Ritalin, but I got to treat him instead. Once his allergies and learning problems were corrected, he went on to become a National Merit Finalist and accepted to an Ivy League University. Every child deserves that opportunity. Many of the parents of these children have told me that the teachers and principals have pressured them to put their children on these drugs, threatening to report them to Child Protective Services if they do not comply. CPS actually removed a child from his home after the school reported the mother for not giving the child his drug. The ironic thing was she had been giving him the drug. The drug made him worse, not better. I cannot imagine any reason to give a child an amphetamine to cover up symptoms when the problem can be fixed and no drug is required. Let's give our children the medical and educational evaluations they need to diagnose the real problems. Let's treat these real problems and give our children the future they deserve without drugs. I will show a brief video which shows a child's disruptive behavior caused from allergies. And I'm also submitting as part of my written evidence my latest book, No More ADHD, 10 Steps to Help Your Child's Attention and Behavior Without Drugs. Thank you.